ever experienced when you felt like a man was interested in you and then all of a sudden he just disappears? Well, in today's video, we are going to talk about the correct answer as to why men behave that way. They go from interested to Casper to friendly ghost. Let's get into it. Everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Keeping It Real with Keandra. I am your host, licensed marriage and family therapist, Keandra Jackson. Now, this is such a hot topic because I feel like there's so many women who experience a guy acting like and doing things that give off the illusion that he may be interested in you. And then all of a sudden, his energy and his actions shift. And then he simply disappears and disengages. And to be honest, that can be very confusing. So put in the comment section below if that has ever happened to you. Have you ever felt like someone was interested in you? You thought it was going to go somewhere and then he just up and disappeared. Let's talk about it. So I know there's going to be men and women watching this video. And you may think that I'm going to hit this from a different angle, but I'm going to break it down for both of y'all. So if you are in a situation, whether you are a man or a woman, you're going to get both and in this video. So... I'll be completely honest and tell you guys that there are things that men do that actually is incorrect, that is not integral, and that they shouldn't be doing because it gives the wrong impression to women. Men will absolutely act a certain way and disappear because they fear commitment, because they are emotionally unavailable, because they have conflicting priorities like prioritizing work or other life issues or also just straight up a lack of genuine interest and they don't know how to just say, hey, I don't like you like I thought I liked you or I don't like you anymore like I used to like you. So please believe men will do all of those things if they're not interested and that might be a reason why they disappear. But also too, let me get into the real thing that I wanna to talk to y'all about, which is the things that women do that can make a man disengage and disappear. The first thing that he acts uninterested and disappears on you is because you are over eager. Yes, I said it. Y'all be too thirsty, dehydrated, or just overly excited about meeting someone for the first time that y'all are vibing out, that you are liking him, and that it could potentially go somewhere that you do team too much. This essentially means very early on in the dating phase, you are doing too much calling, you're doing too much texting, you just real overly clingy to the point where it's a turn off. You can't be out here bombarding him and doing excessive things that makes him feel like, hold on, er, pump your brakes because you never know what he's experiencing on his end and how he is experiencing you. So before we move on to number two, please do not suffocate him. Please give him a little bit of space in order for him to be able to fill out if he likes you as much as you think you like him. Because if you don't, guess what? He's going to pull away. Number two, the second reason why he acts disengaged and disappeared is because you're neglecting personal boundaries, your personal boundaries and also his personal boundaries. This kind of goes hand in hand with what I already talked about in number one, but you have to understand that you can't be doing the most. If he needs space, if he needs privacy, if he isn't going somewhere or is going somewhere without you, respect whatever he has going on. To the fact where you're actually respecting him because you are respecting his boundaries. If he needs some alone time, if he's feeling discomfort, whatever it is, you can't be overbearing and getting in his personal space and saying, well, why, how, what, when, how can I do, 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 do? it's like, whoa, it's, it's too much, right? So make sure that you have set boundaries and make sure he has set boundaries and people are not overlapping and disrespecting and crossing those boundaries. Because remember, boundaries are just those invisible lines that we make for ourselves and other people. And if early on you are crossing boundaries, then you better believe you're gonna consistently do that throughout the duration of a potential relationship if it gets to that point. The third reason why he acts disinterested and then may disappear is because of your lack of independence. Most men get with you because of who you are and what you can bring to the table. The fact that you have a life, that you have wants, needs, goals, desires, education, hobbies, 
those are the things that make you attractive and that make somebody want to get to know you. But when that is flipped on its head and all you do now is seek validation and confirmation from him and you're starting to neglect yourself and you don't do the things that you used to do, you don't want to go anywhere, you just want to be with him and be snugged up all under him. Well, you know what? That can come off as clingy and as too much because he has his own life and you should have your own life too. So please make sure you maintain your independence when you are in a relationship. Actually, it's called interdependence when you're in a relationship, but that's another video for another day. Just don't drain him because essentially he is going to lose interest in you over time. The next reason why he disengages and then disappears is because of your jealousy or lack of confidence. This level of insecurity in a relationship is a no-no. Displaying possessive behavior, comparing yourself to someone else, questioning his actions or his motives, and burdening him with negative experiences or your negative emotion or an overload of those things can make him withdraw to the point where he's like, I can't even deal with you anymore and I'm out of here. And the last way that a man will act interested in you and then disappear is ignoring red flags. This means him ignoring red flags and you ignoring red flags too. Pretty please with a cherry on top, do not ignore early warning signs, AKA red flags, also yellow flags too, but that's another conversation for another day as well. That can lead you to this like disillusionment of what the relationship could potentially be like. So essentially what this looks like is overlooking disrespectful behavior, turning a blind eye to things that are making you guys incompatible, like values, like beliefs, like relationship statuses, all of those things will eventually put you in a position where you have unresolved issues that is not going to move the relationship to a place of healthy, thriving, where you guys actually want to be together. It's actually going to move you in the opposite direction, which is going to prevent you guys from having that relationship that you've always wanted anyway. So ignoring red flags might seem like the thing to do now because you're like, oh, this is brand new. You know, I don't really know him. Maybe that's just a one-off situation. But honey, red flag on top of red flag on top of red flag is going to turn into a big old red flag. So let me give my final thoughts on this because you know what? There are situations and circumstances where men do things that are inaccurate and inappropriate. Just like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, there are reasons why men choose to act interested and then disappear. We talked about those, but also too, there's things that women do as well. And I included both of these in this video because I didn't want this to be one-sided. Most people have responsibilities that we have to take heed to and take accountability of our own actions as well. Because if we don't, then we're going to consistently see this pattern over and over again with the next person that we're dating or the next person that we're in a relationship with. And you're going to start wondering, well, why every time I date somebody and I think I like them and they like me, they eventually wind up disappearing. Um, baby, at some point we got to hold up the mirror to ourselves and say, is there anything that I am doing? Is there anything that I am saying that could potentially be put pushing this person away? If so, let me get to the root cause of what that is and let me see if this has been a pattern throughout multiple relationships in my life because if it is, it's me and not the other person. Again, sometimes it is the other person, but in this video, I want to be self-reflective. I want to be self-aware to be open to the possibility that it could be us too. So thank you so much for watching another episode of Keeping It Real with Keandra. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this with somebody who needs it because I know there's somebody in your life who needed to hear this message, but I will see you in the next video. Be blessed. Bye.